hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you know you're welcome my name is rosina sharon and today we are going to do makeup on this very beautiful soul over here and uh before you do that kindly subscribe share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them kamakawa ida and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up when no further ado let us go straight into the video so first things first we're going to start off by at least trimming her eyebrows as you can see they're very bushy so we're just going to trim it a little bit so it's easier for us to line so when it comes to doing eyebrows for darker skin i normally start off with a lining using the davis number no. three eye pencil and then when it comes to filling in i use a darker eye pencil to fill in and it works best when i do that instead of just filling uh, starting off by filling with a darker eye pencil so line with number three and then when it comes to filling in i fill in using a darker eye pencil so after lining i'm just going to use a bit of becca primer to lay down uh, her eyebrows so they're intact and then after that is when I start filling in. And again, as I said earlier, I fill in using a darker eye pencil. So I am going to use the Davis number one for filling in. And to fill in, I'm just going to fill in the areas where I feel like there is space and then draw hair like structures all through around the inner corner. And then after that, to clean her eyebrows, I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And as always, I don't start from cleaning from the inner corner directly. I leave a bit of space first and then use the product remaining on the brush to clean around the inner corner. On the upper side of the brow, we're going to use a foundation instead of a concealer. So it's easier for us to blend when we are doing the face after um, eye makeup. Then moving on, we're going to set her eyelids before we apply eyeshadow and we're using the very same concealer we used to clean her eyebrows, which is Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And for her eyeshadow today, I realized that I've never done a neon shade on camera for dark skin. So we're going for, uh, to start off with an orange, this neon shade. This one is from uh, the Zikel Rios eyeshadow palette. So we're going to place that around uh, the lower lid. Uh, around the crease region so we're going to do a reverse transition today and then after that is when we apply the darker shade and i'm using a brown shade still from the rios cosmetics uh, i mean the rios uh, <laughs> eyeshadow palette from azikel cosmetics and then we're just going to blend that from the outer corner going towards the inner corner and blend in the edge of uh, the orange we started off with then uh, after that we're going uh, to draw a very small wing we do not want to take her away from how beautiful her eyes are we want to maintain her eye shape that is why we're going for a smaller wing for her eye makeup and uh, for this i'm using the zaron gel eyeliner in black it's very very good but the best would be inglot if you can go for inglot it actually has more pigment than this and then after that i'm just going to apply falsies and again we're not going for very dramatic falsies for her we want to maintain the, the eye shape and i just did a small um glitter liner on the crease region because i just wanted the eyes to pop a bit when you know she's taking pictures because today she wanted to take pictures <laughs> and then we're just going to do the um waterline eyeliner first before we move on to the face and for the face, normally start off with uh, cleaning the face first before you start applying product on it. Make sure the face is very, very clean before you start applying product. And then uh, now moving on to the face, we're going to start off with the CeraVe AM Moisturizer. This one that has SPF in it. Very, very amazing, if you ask me. And then we're just going to apply that all over her face. And then after application, allow it to set fast before we move on to priming the face. So we're just going to apply that all over her face. That includes her under eyes as well, you know, around the nose, forehead, all that.
and then for all the products used on this tutorial kindly check the description box everything will be named on there so after applying the moisturizer we're just going to apply the Rimmel stay matte primer mostly uh, mostly around the areas where she produces oil the most so around the nose uh, forehead and uh, the lip region as well including the smile line region that is where we're going to apply the primer and for primer tap it in tap 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 until it is absorbed into the skin and again allow it to set first before you move on to applying foundation so foundation we are using the Maybelline Superstay foundation I mixed number 360 and 375 so at least it matches her skin and for me personally I prefer matching the foundation to the neck and then we can contour the face or highlight depends to match the whole entire face so I match the foundation to the neck and then we can contour or highlight for the rest look at my daughter <laughs> Yeah, so we're just going to apply foundation using a brush, tap, 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 and avoid applying fresh product around the corner of the nose and the under eye region. And then after applying foundation is when I use a crema blush. For darker skin, I normally prefer using something with a red undertone. When you blend it in, it gives that reddish, pinkish undertone after you have blended it in to the foundation. And it gives it a very subtle, you know, warmth to the face. I love it. And then after that to highlight we are going to use a uh, illegal pro concealer in the shade uh, beautiful bronze and to blend that in i am using a beauty blender instead of a brush i prefer doing that when it comes to blending in um, the concealer so we're just going to highlight starting off with the under eye and then a tiny bit around the bridge of the nose and uh, forehead And again little product goes a long way so avoid using too much product I normally use like the product remaining on the beauty blender to blend out the bridge of the nose and sometimes also the forehead but it really depends avoid using too much product and then after that to set we're using the Maybelline fit me finishing powder in the shade 360 I just wanted it to blend into her skin tone I did not want to take away from her skin at all at all at all so I, I tried my best to match everything to her skin so that is what we're going to set in the areas where we highlighted so that includes the bridge of the nose under eye bridge of the nose forehead around the lip region as well and uh, considering she's a very young girl normally when I'm doing um, a young client's makeup I normally do not want to take away from their youth you know sometimes you can do makeup and instead of uh, maintaining the age it looks like you're turning a 16 year old into a 35 year old i don't like doing that so i normally try as much as i can to maintain you know the youthfulness in her face and then after that we're just going to contour starting off with the forehead for the cheeks we're just going to warm it up we're not going to add contour and then now we're going to contour the nose as well And then after we are done we are going to set the whole face and I'm using the elf hydrating um, setting spray and uh, after that is when I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use a tiny bit of highlight I just want it to be seen when the light is hitting a face so yeah just a tiny bit of it and then after we are done for her lips we wanted to go for a nude with the gloss on top so you're starting off with a lip liner brown lip liner and then brown lipstick and then normally when I want to add gloss I brighten up the lower lip so when I add gloss it looks amazing and then after that is when we are adding a um, clear gloss on top and it is going to look very very beautiful <laughs> and uh, yeah that is the final look guys let me know what you think can you see the lips Oof, amazing even the eyes are looking amazing her eyes you know her eyes are very very beautiful so i was very keen not to take away from that and uh, i love how it all uh, turned out so let me know what you think of the comment section uh, down below guys i personally i love it 
and then this way I just wanted to give her the mirror so she can see herself and look at that that reaction was amazing that is what makes me happy very very happy when I see them happy it makes me very happy so guys from me thank you so so much for watching I hope you have learned something from this and uh, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video <laughs> bye